podcast for Monday, August 19th. Okay, so welcome to the full moon in Aquarius. We have this full moon popping off at 2.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, we are going to see the moon go void, of course, at that time as well. And we are going to shift into Pisces energy at 6.53 p.m. So first of all, there is a whole astro forecast on what this full moon in Aquarius is all about. There is a moon guide. If you want to download that, do the shadow work to get into alignment with this particular energy. You can listen to your August Zodiac forecast to understand better where this particular full moon in Aquarius is impacting your life first and foremost. There are a lot of resources out there. And of course, if you've been listening to the daily energy forecast, you would know that we've been building towards this particular potency since Wednesday of last week. I would also hope that you've taken a listen to the Ascension Symptoms that forecast that I put out there for the ever-changing energy shifts for this week so that you can understand where this energy is going to be pressurized. Heads up, this full moon in Aquarius likely going to have the most pressure in our headspace. This is about elevating to a new level of awareness, a new level of consciousness. We are popping off. We are connecting the dots. We are snapping some puzzle pieces together. There's going to be some epiphanies. Again, it gives us a little bit of clarity, mostly on what it is that we're moving away from, what it is that we are currently breaking as far as cycles go. And of course, that's going to have a major impact on what we're doing, what we're building, what we're growing from here. So this is a very busy day in the cosmos, okay? Like we are not messing around. I am going to mention We kind of, you know, did a little bit of a doozy over the last couple of days to kind of highlight, if you will, where the triggers, where the activations are needed first and foremost in order for us to have an essential quote unquote breakdown before we have a quote unquote breakthrough. Now, again, breakdowns are never fun. We're breaking down the details, breaking down the situation, breaking down the circumstances, and likely under full moon energy, going to have a little bit of an emotional or menti B breakdown as well. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of grace. We're going to have some patience with this particular process because the breakthrough is coming and it's going to be a beautiful light bulb moment. It is definitely going to change the game for us. We just have to tap into a little tiny bit more patience. Okay. So with that being said, there are 13 different aspects taking place here today. Again, a very busy day in the cosmos. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. So before we get into any moon aspects here today, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in this Virgo energy, again, focusing in on the problems, the issues, the areas of life that don't make us so happy, don't make us feel safe, don't make us feel secure. We're analyzing, we're critiquing, we're reevaluating matters of the heart. What makes us feel all of those things or who and what are not making us feel those things. This is a matter of fact approach to our physical realms, to who it is that we have relationship dynamics with, to where it is that our financial status is, to where it is that our overall happiness is concerned. And we are willing to make some improvements, make some adjustments in order to create the realm, the reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. Again, Virgo energy, healing the physical realm, the physical body and the mental plane. Well, Venus is going to be interacting with Chiron, the wounded healer who was retrograde in Aries energy. We're having this aspect pop off right out of the gate. Lucky for us, it's a positive one, which means that we're really starting to see the growth within ourselves, our ability to examine the problematic areas, especially in our heart space, where heavy stagnant emotions are still concerned, where some, let's call it not as encouraging, not so supportive narratives are concerned as well. We're examining that. We're understanding that if we want different, we have to do different. And if we have to do different, we have to think and feel different in order to actually get to that action point. We are essentially starting to see this new version of self from a very, very clear lens. And it looks kind of good. We're kind of proud of ourselves. We're giving ourselves a pat on the back. We are growing in our self-confidence, in our self-worth, and in our self-esteem. Now, that sounds like a good energy, and it's a good way to kind of kick off this very intense day. However, we're not going to sit in that energy for very long. This is going to be a cha-cha-cha day, 
especially seeing as we have to have triggers and activations to highlight the funk, to highlight the darkness, again, break down energy in order for us to truly appreciate when this pressure gets alleviated. Again, breakthrough energy. So now we have Venus getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, who is in Gemini energy, thus the division, thus the tug of war, thus the choice points, thus the being on the fence, not knowing whether or not we're going to stay where we're going to go, what we're going to do, what we're going to pursue, what we have to end, what we have to create. We're all over the place. Now, normally Jupiter would be a positive influence. He would kind of, you know, help us be a little bit more optimistic, help us see the silver linings. Not in this case, this is a square. Now, not that I want to do like a shameless plug here, but this plays into Mars and Jupiter's conjunction that we just had on Wednesday, feeding into the Saturn Jupiter square that is taking place pretty much right after we have this full moon pop off here today. There's astro forecasts and astro classes over on my Patreon to do a deep dive on what these particular energy shifts actually mean. We have two T squares taking place, which is like a pressure cooker energy, and it does involve venus and jupiter why because we're analyzing the shit out of our past relationship dynamics we're understanding yeah we got hurt yeah we had poor ass boundaries yeah we didn't put ourselves first now we have to turn that into an element of wisdom that's where jupiter shines in order for us to understand that we can repeat the same patterns and behaviors but we're only ever going to get what it is that we've already got and we've already determined that we don't want what it is that we've already got we want better which means that we have to do better which means that we have to be better which means that we have to choose better and this is the tug of war of the heart there's a magnification here coming from jupiter on that heart space to get down to the nitty-gritty to the bad habits to the bad boundaries to the bad energy the bad self-worth the bad self-confidence the bad self-esteem that attracted some of these quote-unquote evil doers into our lives in the first place they're not even do doers though they're actually great teachers you have to shift your perspective and have appreciation for those quote unquote bad guys because they play the role perfectly to push you into your power to make you see yourself from a different set of eyes. The moon in Aquarius energy will be trining Mars. Mars being the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger also in the Gemini energy again adding to the tug of war again adding to the indecisiveness on what we want to pour our time, our energy, our effort into, what we want to chase from here, what we want to build, what we want to grow, what we actually desire. Now, lucky for us, this is a trine. This is air on air action, Aquarius energy, Gemini energy, they're air energies. This is the intellect. Emotionally speaking, we are aggressively sorting through where it is that we have a new passion to have a new desire for change. Again, putting into a different perspective what it is that we are now triggered and activated, what we're being called to do and called to pursue. Emotionally speaking, we're building ourselves up. We are cultivating this inner spark, this inner fire, this inner flame that, of course, is helping us to plan and strategize in our mental plane, again, Gemini energy, on the correct path, direction, steps that we need to take in order to execute this particular plan a little bit better now venus again goddess of love beauty worth pleasure and money in virgo energy is going to directly oppose sit across from create tension and conflict with saturn the lord of karma who is retrograde in pisces energy so first of all this plays into some of the pressure cooker energy that i talked about again we go into a little bit more depth and detail in those astro classes over on my patreon if you're interested on that but venus directly sitting across from Saturn. Okay, so there's a pull here. Saturn is retrograde, meaning we're reflecting back on where we had some limiting beliefs, where it is that we had some poor ass boundaries, where it is that we've had certain karmic cycles actually kind of remove some situations, some people, some circumstances out of our lives that we weren't planning on. And we still haven't really wrapped our head around it. We certainly haven't wrapped our heart around it. This is going to highlight the tension that we're currently feeling within ourselves, within matters of the heart, and also within some existing relationship dynamics. This is an element where, realistically speaking, we're 
uncomfortable. We're at a choice point. This is what an opposition is. We are seeing our relationship dynamics, our money matters from a different lens, from a different set of eyes. We are being triggered and activated in a certain way to realize that we cannot continue to do the same old, same old thing. We are super hypersensitive, right? We're in a full moon. That's natural. But we're having a hard time actually expressing ourselves, expressing our thoughts, our feelings. And even more than that, we're having a hard time even within ourselves understanding the new wants, needs, and desires that this new version of self actually has. The moon in Aquarius is then going to semi-square, create a little bit of tension and conflict with North Node in Aries energy. Suddenly, we aren't seeing the future. We don't want to see the future. We're stuck in this present moment, bringing up emotions and thought patterns from the past. We're looking back, reflecting. We're having a hard time because we're so focused on what went wrong that we're not focused on all the things that went right. So of course that North Node trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to move forward. But right now, again, at least the moon in Aquarius allows us a little bit of emotional detachment in order to act as the observer and see all the different moving parts. Right now, we're not focused as much on the future as we would like to be because we have to wrap up cycles from the past. We have to release and purge emotions, stagnant emotions, from the past. So we're not really thinking about moving forward as much as we are being so fixated, so engulfed by the pain, the trauma, the disappointment of the past. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. So this helps us kind of break that funk, break that, let's call it looping pattern, looping fixation on replaying certain situations and circumstances that ended in disappointment. And now, we're shaking our head, we're giving ourselves a little bit of a reality check, we're reminding ourselves how far we've come, how much we've grown, how much we've healed, how much we're doing, I'm gonna say, more to help improve our emotions, our mind state, how much we're trying to improve the futuristic vision of where it is that we wanna go and understanding that it requires us to be a different version of self. So then the moon in Aquarius energy comes into an opposition. It's sitting directly across from Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. who of course is retrograde. Again, reflecting back, reviewing, revising, reframing in our mind matters of the heart because of course mercury is in leo energy now the good news is is here yesterday we just hit the halfway mark for this particular retrograde there is insight coming at us again adding to the pressure cooker breakdown of details breakdown of past events in order for a major pop-off an epiphany a light bulb moment to break through putting into perspective if you will um, I'm going to say a different narrative, a different understanding of events gone by. So, of course, the moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space. They're at odds with one another. We aren't feeling like we're on the same page. Again, we are still building towards this full moon peak potency. So there has to be a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict. This is going to highlight where our heart is in one place, but our head is very much in another and of course, it's not going to feel good. It's not supposed to. And it's going to, I'm going to say, further be pressurized and activated because the sun in Leo energy comes into a square, gets into the boxing ring with Uranus, the great awakener. So Uranus is the ruler over this full moon in Aquarius. Again, take a listen to the full moon um, forecast that I did put out there. Uranus is in Taurus energy. And so again, we have the fixed sign, fixed fire sign of Leo that the sun is in. We have a fixed earth sign that Uranus is in. We are getting into the square. There is a growing pain happening here. We have to have tension. We have to have a pop off, which of course is going to send a ripple effect through our central nervous system. Again, listen to the Ascension forecast so that you understand where the energy is building up and how that directly impacts our physical health. This is going to be a destabilizing energy. There's a shake up. There's a wake up. There is a vibration of frequency just going through us at this particular point in time. And the sun, of course, is shining a bright light on the problematic areas where we need to be bold and brave and courageous enough to bust out to bust free. Now, here's the thing. 
what we're being highlighted to is that a part of us, we have a strong passion, a strong desire to be independent, to break free of the same old, same old, to do things different, to kind of dance to the beat of our own drum. But essentially the changes that we have to make in our physical realms, in our physical lives, they are pretty intense in order for us to break free of said confines of said restrictions. And that is the part that we're not feeling well equipped or well prepared to do just yet. This is definitely going to be a disruptive energy again pressurizing the conflict, the tension, the power struggle that we are all experiencing within ourselves. Now, the moon in Aquarius energy is going to square off and get into the boxing ring with Uranus. Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius energy. Again, we talked about this in the astro class with the Mars Jupiter conjunction and the Saturn Jupiter square off. This is again, the pressure cooker energy. Emotionally speaking, we are being destabilized. We're being like shook up, like shaken, rattled and roll. We're in a snow globe. We're essentially being picked up. We're being shaken to the most degree possible. Why? Because we have to be a little bit crazy, a little bit chaotic, a little bit, I'm going to say unstable in order for us to have a breakthrough. That breakthrough is coming at 2.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when the moon in this Aquarius energy is going to sit across from directly oppose the sun in Leo energy. This is what gives us our full moon. So again, 2.26 p.m., the energy is building throughout the day up until this peak potency. We have this pressurized system reach this breaking point. We should feel the energy dissipate after this particular uh, peak potency. However, it's going to do a number on our emotions, on our headspace. Okay, so confusion is the name of the game. Confusion comes before clarity. A breakdown comes before a breakthrough. It is at 2.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that the moon goes void, of course. And while the moon is void, of course, Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in Gemini energy, gets into the boxing ring, squares off with Saturn, retrograde in Pisces energy. So this is, again, the reason for the astro class that I put out over on my Patreon. This is a, well, first activation point in Jupiter and Saturn cycle. This dates back to when they first had their conjunction back in 2020 at a zero degree in Aquarius energy. It was the back and forth accordion effect since then. Now we're reaching an action point. We are going to watch this square off three times, carrying us all the way into June of 2025. Again, if you're interested to understand how this is going to impact you, impact the collective, please jump over and tap into that astro class. Basically, this does not feel good. We have the great expansion. Commander, Jupiter, we have the great restrictor, Saturn, getting into the boxing ring and fighting it out. This is definitely going to do a number on us. This isn't just a one day activation. We've been in this energy for quite some time. We will continue to be in this energy for quite some time. We are seeing circumstances kind of shift, kind of change, presenting us with a choice point, with an option, with an opportunity for personal growth. And again, you've been hearing me say we're in a state right now where we understand that short term sacrifice, short term struggle is needed in order for those long term gains to actually come in and be worth it. Now, there is going to be a delay to the rewards in which we are essentially choosing, triggering and activating at this time. And this is the beginning of us restructuring our physical realms, restructuring our mental plane, our emotions, our thoughts, our ideas, our perspectives, our beliefs. So definitely a lot to unpack with that one particular transit, again, right on top of this full moon in Aquarius. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune, which tells us that the moon is now at the 29th critical crisis degree of this Aquarius energy because Neptune is in his rulership retrograde in this Pisces energy at 29 degrees. So the one thing that we're going to be gaining here is a little bit of a reminder, a little bit of a refresher, a renewal energy, if you will, in our soul and our spirit reminding us of what we're actually trying to kind of create, what we're trying to build, what we're trying to end up in. Again, this is the goal, the vision, the dream that again, we have to spend a little bit more time defining 
the smaller details, the let's call it aspects of our present day that we have power and control over that we could change, that we could restructure in the present moment in the here and now to align us with the greater, grander vision, goal and dream. 6.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon shifts into Pisces energy. We're still very much in this full moon. It is a full moon on steroids. There is a pressure cooker type of energy here. The moon in Pisces is a time for us to kind of, I'm going to say, unwind, to unpack, to release, to purge, because we're closing out an emotional cycle. Now, the moon in Pisces is going to be making a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde in Aquarius energy. Again, highlighting the power struggle, especially between old conditioning, old programming, and the new version of self. So emotionally speaking, we are having a major shift in our mood, in our attitude. Again, we're kind of moving into La La Land, which technically is going to be a nice reprieve, a nice break from the last couple of days of this energy building to this very potent full moon. And the moon and Pluto definitely coming together to show us where it is that we have an opportunity to heal, to grow, to fix, to repair, to empower ourselves to a new emotional understanding, a new emotional disposition. <laughs> 